I'm Rob Coles. Thanks for joining us. The Lake Superior Ice Festival wrapped up earlier tonight with a fireworks show. While the festival normally brings people onto an ice covered lake this year, it was mostly on land. Northern News Now's Jack Wiener visited the event to see what an ice festival look, looks like with temperatures hovering above freezing. With more mud than snow on the ground at Barker's Island, a polar bear mascot looks a little out of place. But this year's ice festival is all about adapting something organizers are familiar with. Well, this is our ninth annual Lake Superior Ice Festival, so adapting and maneuvering around the weather is not the first year we've had to do that. With temperatures right around freezing, it was cold enough to keep the ice sculptures from melting, and although most activities were landlocked this year, select portions of the ice were open for fishing and even skating. I've been skating on, on the ice, and I'm pretty good at it. This was eight-year-old Lila Miller's second ice fest, and she said sledding was her favorite part. To make the sledding hill possible this year, snow had to be plowed in from around the area. Organizers say based on the hill's popularity, the extra effort was worth it. And the festival's mascot, named Blizzy, was also a hit with kids like Lila. He's, he's, he's my best friend, and he gave me a hug. There were some events that had to be canceled due to this year's warm weather. Curling and ATV racing were a few that didn't work out. But organizers say that it's important to put on the ice fest every year, especially when the weather isn't ideal. So there's a lot of gray, and it's nice to just give people something to look forward to and come out. In Superior, Jack Wiedner, Northern News Now. While some activities were missing from this year's festival, there were others that were added. A cornhole tournament was enjoyed by many, and a nonprofit called Indigo supplied an all-terrain chair to make the event more accessible.